you broke up with someone at 30 and 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 you are now 40 years you are still very bitter and angry with with with, with men why because of what someone did to you when you are at the age of 30 and yet that person moved on how can you tell that you're bitter number one you have very difficult time relating with other people age is just a number uh, praise the lord i greet you all in jesus name my name is uh, Pastor Kathy Washira. I am married uh, to Pastor Peter Washira and we pastor a church together in Kisi, Word of Faith Church, Kisi. Uh, I'm also a mother and uh, to two daughters and also a grandmother and a mother-in-law. Okay, so today I'm here to just share something concerning breakups and especially breakups that happen after 30. Um, a breakup is a very sad moment because uh, this is something, this is a um, termination of a relationship that has gone on for a while. And you know, the older, the older you get, the harder it is to recover from something, from any kind of trauma, whether it's a relationship, whether it is a sickness, whether it is bad news, whatever it is, it is very, very hard. When, we are, when you're young, Maybe even in your early 20s or in your teenagehood and stuff like that. When there's a breakup, uh, yes, it feels bad. But because you can also, there's a lot of time and you're still young and, and, and you know, it's, it's very easy for you to just gather yourself after a while and come back uh, um, to yourself and just get over the relationship. There's a lot of time, in other words. Even if it takes years, you have those four years to recover, you know. And it doesn't really affect you um, as much as it would affect anyone. But at the same, regardless of that, a breakup feels bad, and there's nobody who enters into a relationship with the notion or with the with the with the with the thought of it breaking up. All all of us dream of having this perfect relationship that is going to end up hopefully in marriage, or that is going to continue forever. But sometimes because of reasons uh, that are not foreseen, the relationship comes to an end. And especially when someone reaches 30, and we all know that um, most of the time by the time you're reaching 30, you, you, you should either be on your way to getting married or you're even married. When this breakup comes at that age, it is, it is very traumatizing and it is very difficult because first of all, you need time to recover and you're looking at the years that are ahead of you because, listen, I think when I, when I broke, um, let me give an example in myself, when I broke up from my, when I was younger and I had a relationship that led to my first daughter, I think it took me almost eight years to recover and when I'm saying recover, I'm not meaning that I was crying for eight years. I think it took me eight years to be able to comfortably be in another relationship or seriously be in another relationship seriously. I could be, but I was never, it was, it was just those things you, you get into just to, 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 to cover the pain. But to seriously get into another relationship, I think it took me eight years. So sometimes when, when, you, when a breakup occurs at the age of 30, it is more uh, disheartening, it is more harder it is more painful because you had invested your time you are getting older and you're wondering when will this even this pain that i'm going through when am i going to get over it it's it's very very difficult and i understand why this can be a major issue in our lives now there's and i'm going to speak this from a christian perspective okay one you have to understand that the sooner when a breakup happens, regardless of who caused it, because sometimes you are the reason, sometimes it is the man, sometimes it is both, sometimes it is other people, sometimes one, of, one person was unfaithful or the other, whatever it is, one thing that we must decide right from the beginning is to forgive. Okay, and I know this sounds very superficial, but you must forgive. Okay, because that is... Forgiveness does not mean that the pain goes away. Mm -mm. Forgiveness is, 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 it does not mean that what happened did not happen. It happened. Because you have to accept, number one, that the thing has happened. Number two, you have to decide to forgive. Because if it is very difficult for you to go to your next step unless you have decided to forgive this person. When, once you forgive someone, it doesn't mean the pain goes away, but you begin the journey of walking into your future, you know, 
and leaving the pain along as you as you go because if you don't forgive past someone this is what happens and remember it 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 is it is your right to feel bad or even to hold unforgiveness but jesus himself tells us that don't let the sun go down while you're still angry with this person in other words he's saying make a decision that i'm going to forgive this person as painful as it is and as painful as it is, as it is going to continue to be because if you don't forgive the next thing that is going to come in is what we call bitterness Okay, bitterness is holding a grudge towards someone for a very long time because of a perceived wrongdoing. If you continue to hold on, listen, nobody wants to be near a bitter person. And that is why many people after a breakup, it's very hard for them to get into another relationship or even to attract someone from the opposite sex. Why? Because of the bitterness that they are portraying and the bitterness that they are releasing. So when you don't forgive someone, you, you, you sow a seed inside you of bitterness. Listen, a bitter person is ugly. And I'm not talking about physically ugly, but it can also manifest physically. They are, they, because everything that they say, everything that they do, everything that they think, they do it through the lens of bitterness. That is why even their speech becomes very, um, very bitter. That is why they become very suspicious. In fact, some people are so bitter that they even swear that they will not get into another relationship because they have, they have, they have chosen not to forgive someone. Anytime you choose not to forgive someone and say, the way I will not forgive them, I will not forget, what you're saying is, I, I am planting a seed of bitterness. I don't know whether you've... you've uh, seen a very beautiful woman but nobody really wants to be near her and anyone who's near her just goes there to use her it's not because some it is just because of the listen bitterness makes you make very wrong decisions bitterness bitterness makes you say things that you ought not to say things that make people uh, instead of attracting people you repel them you know how how can you tell that you're bitter number one you have very difficult time relating with other people okay and sometimes bitterness can make you also cause revenge that is why sometimes you find when 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 someone is bitter uh, they instead of forgiving and letting God to begin the journey of healing them they want to go and destroy someone else's relationship so that to make make themselves feel good I don't know I don't know they get I don't know that you've seen you when 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 we were growing up um, as, as, as young girls, there used to be some certain girls, and I don't know why they were like that, and I, I thank God people change. When it's like they're always just interested in other people. They're, they're interested in the men who are the boys. Those days it was boys. They're always interested in the boys who had already girlfriends. They don't want this boy who is single. And once they get, they don't want again. It's like they're just out to destroy to destroy other people's relationship. What I can tell you about that person is that they're going through bitterness. Bitterness always wants you to destroy to, to destroy everything in your path. You destroy people's relationships. You destroy your own relationship. You suspect everyone. That's why when you even meet a man, the first thing you do is to become very suspicious, accusing them, accusative. Your tone, you have an accusative tone always thinking that they're going to do to you what the other person does did so it did to you that is why it's very very important to forgive because you will always enter into another relationship with the same notion and listen there is no man who wants to be in the, with a woman who is always suspicious who is always accusing them who is always thinking that they're going to do to them what the other person did you must forgive because when you forgive then god will begin with you the journey of healing Forgiving is to make a conscious decision that I am not going to hold this person responsible anymore for what happened. It has happened. I accept it has happened and we are, I am going to move forward. As painful as it is, I am moving forward. When you make that decision with your mouth, then it is going to start radiating in your heart and the healing journey begins. And you're not going to allow the seed of bitterness to be planted either. Because inside you, sorry. Because once bitterness is planted inside you, then it will take years. That is why sometimes it takes years. You wonder, you wonder, you broke up with someone at 30 and, and, and you are now 40 years. You are still very bitter and angry with, 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 with men. Why? Because of what someone did to you when you are at the age of 30. And yet that person moved on. You wonder, they have moved on. They even got married. They are enjoying their life. You, you are still 40, still holding on to, on to the wrong that they did to you. No, listen. 
you must release people. Bitterness is a, is a cancer that destroys the paths of every relation, any good thing. When you hold on to unforgiveness and the seed of bitterness is planted inside you, then you're going to destroy every good thing. Even when God brings a good man, you will not see it. Because for you, what you're going to be seeing is that same, is the other person who wronged you. So that is a decision that you have to make. And especially when you have reached 30, because of time, you cannot hold, you can't waste time being caring and forgiveness. You must learn the art of forgiving people as quickly as possible. Forgiveness does not mean that you, you, you pretend it did not happen. No, you are crying while you are healing. That is forgiveness. Forgiveness is crying while you're healing. Forgiveness is kneeling down while you're, you're, you're standing, but you're kneeling down. You know, it is, it is, it is, uh, uh, forgiveness is saying I have forgiven them, but your heart is, is, is still struggling to accept what your mouth is saying. But you know, when you keep on confessing something, that thing becomes, you know, so you must keep on forgiving them and keep on forgiving them and keep on saying I forgive and release them so that you can be free. Because if you're not free, you're, you yourself will be drinking poison, hoping that that other person is going to die from that poison. And meanwhile, them, they've moved along. And unfortunately, I don't know why it is that sometimes men move on faster than us. So you find women tend to stay in bitterness for long, more than women. So let, let, let us let us learn that at the older you get, the quicker you need to forgive people. Otherwise, you're going to bring diseases on yourself. You're going to delay your, the next good thing that God is being. I have seen women destroy relationships because of bitterness. I have seen it. I have seen women say things and misbehave because of something that they thought had been done because of what had happened in the other relationship. Now they come and listen, you, you must decide to forgive. And let me, let me tell you something. Jesus Christ wants to heal you. That is the desire of God. But you see, God does not force himself on people. He wants you to surrender and say, go tell him, Father, I feel bad. This thing hurts. It is very painful. I've invested five years in this relationship. I was even hoping it was going to get married. I, I've, I, it was going to end in marriage. I have invested 10 years in this marriage, Father. It is painful. But speak to Jesus. Release it and say, Father, I forgive them. Help me to forgive them. When you do that, the Holy Spirit is going to begin the quick work of helping you to release that person. Listen, when you forgive someone, it, will, it might take time. But believe me, once the Holy Spirit has dealt with that, with that forgiveness, you will not even remember <laughs> what happened. Sometimes I even try to remember some things in the names of some people. I don't know, but what I could... Listen, don't hold on to people. People are just people. People are limited. A man can, a human being can tell you this and tomorrow they change their mind. Don't take your life and put in the hands of a man. Take your life and put in the hands of God. So that when man disappoints you, you have somewhere where you can run to. But at the age of 30, don't, over 30, don't, 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 don't hold on. To unforg unforgiveness has stopped. There are so many people who are not even in relationships. There are so many people who are not even married just because they are still holding on and to unforgiveness of a very past relationship and they don't know. There we have women right now drinking themselves, drinking alcohol, drinking alcohol somewhere in a bar, not because they love alcohol or beer is good or whatever it is they're drinking, but because they're trying to cover a pain that they got from a relationship. And, and that pain is caused there because they have refused to forgive that person. Forgive them. Your destiny is not in the hand of that person. And sometimes some of these relationships, as good as we think they are, maybe before God it is not good. God, God has seen ahead. God has seen where you are supposed to be. You can think that is, that is the person. Trust me, you will be surprised that when you decide to forgive and to release the person, God is going to bring somebody and that person will find you in a state where you are whole, in a state where you are ready to receive a new person. You cannot, you cannot receive a new person with a heart that is defiled by bitterness. So refuse to be bitter. A bitter heart cannot receive another heart. Praise the Lord. So my prayer for you is that any person listening to my voice, if there's any person, if there's anything, I don't know what it is, a person, a marriage, a relationship, that, that has caused you so much pain and you've carried that pain for very many years and, 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 and it has stopped you from moving forward, may, may God heal you. May you begin the journey of start by saying, I accept the wrong was done and I have been carrying unforgiveness and I forgive that person. Begin by speaking those words.
to yourself. I'm not telling you things I've read. I'm telling you things that I've done. I, I have forgiven that person. It feels bad, but I have forgiven them. I am not holding them responsible anymore of what happened. That I leave to God. God says, when you hold your peace, I will fight for you. If there's any wrong that was done to you, God knows. God sees. You know, so that is not your business. It is not your business to sit in the seat of revenge. You know, anytime you're holding unforgiveness, what you're saying is like sitting on a chair and saying, I am God. And if you're God, then God cannot play his part. So release that person. When you forgive people, then God is able to bring the right person. Because also, uh, people, people are, we are spirits. Another, another person can tell when you're carrying bitterness. They can tell because your speech is bitter. Your look is bitter. Your, 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 just how you carry yourself, someone can tell when you're carrying bitterness. So uh, you have to understand that, that man, though man, is a, man, man lives in a body, but they're also a spirit. That spirit, that spirit uh, is going to manifest. What you carry in your heart will always manifest in a conversation. It is just a matter of time. If you're a bitter person, when you sit in a place where maybe your potential, your potential uh, husband, boyfriend, whatever is, and you start to talk, it is just a matter of minutes. The bitterness that you carry will manifest and they just change their mind. So my prayer for you is that today you decide that I'm going to forgive that person so that you move on. And I know that God, uh, God is never late. There is no person because the same way God forgave you, then you ought also to forgive. And he says, if you don't forgive others, he's also not forgiven. And remember, if, you, if God cannot forgive you, then where are you going if God himself has not forgiven you? So forgive people so that God can forgive you, so that he can also restore your life. You cannot restore something to a place that is defined by bitterness. So that is my prayer for you, that you decide today that you are going to forgive. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.